This is our newly launched AI Insights feature of SEL. So this is a feature that reads the 2D demo and gives us insights about the team we're just watching. So for instance, in this case, I'm watching bounty hunters and the AI has given us an observation that they tend to have more players towards A during echo rounds, 83% of the time. So if I'm clicking this here, it will mark the relevant rounds and we can see that this statement is definitely true. There are more players towards the A area than on B during echo rounds. And in that case, you would preferably go towards B if you're playing against bounty hunters and you know that they're on an eco. We can also see that they tend to play heavy mid control 83% of the time when on full buy rounds. And this is also definitely true. As we can see, their short players and connector players and window players are playing way more aggressively during these kinds of rounds to take mid. And lastly, we can see that during half buy rounds, they tend to have more players towards underground. And this is also definitely true. As we can see here, a lot of players are jumping underground during these rounds. So this is super useful information when you're about to play an opponent. And then you can also switch to the T side here to get T side observations. So for instance, we can see here that 69% of the time in 4v4 situations, they tend to end up towards A. And this is also a true statement. We can clearly see that there are more players towards the A area here during the 4v4 rounds. And here we have another great example when watching Fnatic on Ancient. So for instance, they have very obvious tendencies on their T side. We know that almost on 80% of the rounds they're on Eco, they tend to go towards B. And that is definitely a true statement, as you can see. And also during 4v4 situations, they tend to try to take A site a lot more, which is obviously also a true statement. However, the AI will sometimes give us information about things that aren't very useful. So for instance, here we can see that Fnatic loses almost 80% of the rounds when they're playing passively. And this is not very useful. You cannot really take action on it. It's more useful when, when watching yourself, obviously. But if you don't think it's useful, you can actually just report it to the AI. So we keep training it to find more actionable and more relevant insights. And lastly, when we're watching really good teams, such as Mouse, the observations aren't that obvious. Most of the insights are things that are good about the team. But here, the only thing we found about the CT side of Mouse is that their upper tends to start on A site. 86% of the rounds they have full buy. And this is definitely true. We can see that their upper is always towards the A site. However, on their T side, we can see a few more insights. So we can see here that they tend to go towards B site 75% of the time when they have an op. And that is actually really useful data. And we can see that this is clearly true. And during half by rounds, they tend to try to take mid control a lot more, which is obviously also a true statement, as you can see here. And during full by rounds, they pretty much always try to go for mid control, which is obviously true. So yeah, this is a super cool tool and all you need is a team or player subscription on SEL to access this. The only difference between the player and team subscription here is that the team subscription can load infinite amount of matches. So you can get more relevant patterns and the player subscription can only load one match at a time. So yeah, check it out at sl.gg.